oh my God, I don't trust you. I don't trust these people. I don't know what to do. No, you're not going to meet amazing people. Like, yeah, you're going to like really struggle with like making friends and meeting amazing people because you close yourself off because you believe that everybody in LA is fake and that's just not true. You told me I could trust you. So welcome back to another episode of Makeup Diaries with Mariah. I'm Mariah. And make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Girl, don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers this year. And I really think we can do it. But today I want to talk. So in a couple months, it'll be my four year LA anniversary. And it's actually funny because I moved here the day after Beyonce's birthday, which is September 4th and we know four is her favorite number and that's just like another way that me and her is just like this like we just connect it that's not the point the point is just like I feel like I see all of the time I feel like I see all of the time like people moving to LA and then talking shit about it because it's not what they expected or people moving to LA and then getting on or LA natives getting on and talking about like don't move here this this and that so girl I want to tell you from tr LA transplant to potential LA transplant, here are some things that you need to know if you are actually like very serious about moving to LA. Now, if you don't know this about me, I moved here four years ago, sight unseen, like I had never been to California at all. And I moved into a really shitty apartment and you can watch that story about my apartment horror story but um I also like don't have a car and I did not have a car when I moved here and I feel like I've gone through so many changes and I've had like so many breakdowns and I've had like so many revelations about the things that I've learned about moving to LA that I want to help people who are about to move here not make those same mistakes or at least know that they are not alone in some of the things that they are feeling maybe or that they have some things completely wrong so let's talk about it. Number one, and maybe you know this, but maybe you don't. I'm here to tell you, LA is filthy. Like think as dirty as you can imagine and then triple, quadruple, quintuple that. That is how nasty it is, okay? LA is dirty, it is nasty. On the regular, I see people on the sidewalk smoking crack. Um, I have seen so many crack pipes. I ain't never seen that many crack pipes in my life. Okay, it is nasty. I have seen people take shits outside on main streets. I mean, garbage, disgusting, gross. Like, it is nasty. Okay, please know. You gotta have a strong stomach, stomach if you're gonna live here because, yeah, it's nasty. It's just as nasty. Actually, nastier than you could ever even imagine. Like, that's how nasty LA is. And that is something I definitely did. And I know like yeah you should stay away from downtown LA yeah you should stay away from Skid Row there are other places too that are just as nasty so just be prepared for that I have a list here I'm just gonna go through it number two everything is like ridiculously far apart here like you could say I'm going three miles to meet my friend for X, Y, or Z for a drink or whatever, it's gonna take you, it could take you up to 45 minutes to an hour to get three miles. So when you say you're going from the east side to the west side, baby, you finna be there all day, okay? Cause it takes forever to get everywhere. Like, yeah, it's a big, 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 big city, LA County and LA city. And then all of the surrounding cities that are also technically LA, like it's huge. Like, so you say I live in LA, you live in Santa Monica. Like, sure, technically you do live in LA, but like, technically you live in Santa Monica, LA. Yeah, I guess technically you do, but you also don't. So like, just know everything's really far apart. That's something like you just need to know. Um, honestly, and this is like really sweet and really like a mushy of me, but like, I truly think some of the most genuine, amazing, creative, like uh, incredible people, I've met I've met here in LA some of my closest dearest friends are have like been moved are transplants also so like don't even think like that you're like there's no everybody here is fake like I hate that that's another thing like don't give in to that everybody is fake in LA thing because that's like some like that's bullshit <laughs> like I really truly think that's like 
the biggest like misconception about Los Angeles. Well, one of the two biz biggest mis misconceptions about Los Angeles is that it like looks exactly like it looks on the hills or Laguna Beach. No, bitch is dirty. And then two, like everybody's fake. All this and that. Like, no, everybody is not fake. Like you will meet some of the most incredible talented genuine amazing people if you just open yourself up to that you know if you're guarded and you're like oh my god i don't trust you i don't trust these people i don't know what to do no you're not gonna meet amazing people like yeah you're gonna like really struggle with like making friends and meeting amazing people because you close yourself off because you believe that everybody in la is fake and that's just not true <sighs> that is my rant about everybody in la being fake but another thing you're honestly just gonna have to you're once you moved here and you've lived here you will become less of a prude let you'll become less stuck up about things like plastic surgery botox which i guess also is plastic surgery the way that people dress like you'll just become less conservative because it's just a part of the culture and you just have to realize like grow the fuck up people have different lives people have different things that make them happy people have different amounts of money that make them happy and that's just how they live yes yeah, some people are sugar babies yes yeah, some people don't work yes yeah, some people work like 10 jobs grow the fuck up like people do what we have to do to survive and i think that is 1000 percent like the grind culture here like is not talked about as much as it's talked about in you know new york because like yeah maybe people move a little bit slower maybe niggas really don't show up on time like that and yeah that's something that definitely irritates me but don't think that there is not this like grind culture here because people do be on they shit like for real and people are just trying to make things happen everywhere you go people are always going to be trying to make things happen but especially in LA they're trying to make shit happen of course they are um you don't need a car. Now, I'm not going to say, like, you don't need a car. Actually, I did just say that. That's so stupid. I'm saying you can survive if you don't have a car. You'll be driving Miss Daisy, having all your friends take you all the places, or you'll be Ubering, or you'll be taking the buses. Now, baby, don't get me twisted. The buses are nasty. The buses are not new. The buses, are, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you do what you got to do, okay, until you, but you don't, like, this conception that, like, you there are places that you can't get to by bus. I just think that's ridiculous. Now the train, sure, you can get there by train. Do you want to take the train? Maybe during the day, not at night. But if you have to take it at night, honestly, you'll be fine. Like, I'm just like, I am a person, like I come from the south side of Chicago. It's gonna take a lot to scare me. It's gonna take a lot to get me to not go somewhere or a lot to get me to be like, oh, that's too dangerous for me. Cause that's just not how I operate, okay? Like I, I don't live my life out of that kind of fear. So that is um, another thing. Another thing that people don't really talk about a lot until you move here, the food. Baby, on every goddamn corner, you're going to find a taco truck with the best tacos you can imagine. And if you're paying more than like $2, $3 for a taco, baby, you're being ripped off. And those are not like if you go to a Mexican restaurant and they charge you for chips and salsa and eh, cut it off. It's not authentic. It's white owned. If they are like bringing you your carne carnitas plate and it doesn't come with guac and guac is extra and eh, cut it off. I mean, the most amazing Asian food, like Thai food, uh, Korean barbecue, like um, just like Chinese food, like everything. It blows my mind how good the food is here. And I hate when people say that LA doesn't have good food because LA has banging food everywhere food is banging and it's not all like oh nobu and elefante and like these really expensive restaurants like no most of it isn't like that most of it is really affordable and it's just really delicious and it's really worth like trying going out of your comfort zone to like try a lot of different foods a lot of different things another thing like even if you are not a beach person like I worked at a beach for two summers in a row when I was in college and I hated the beach. I grew up and we used to go to the beach. It wasn't that far from us. I hated the beach. Ever since I moved here, y'all, I love the beach now. Like, I just think it's a place to clear my mind, a good place to like hang out with friends, catch up. Like, I will say that's one thing that is like really true. Like, I just love the beach now. And I think if you come here, if you move here, you're gonna grow to love the beach because the beach is just, it really is just incredible. You know, like, I just, I don't know what it is about like the beaches here, but it really does give you that, holy crap, I live in Los Angeles. Like, that is when I have those moments. Like, oh my God, I'm at the beach. Oh my God, palm trees. Oh my God, 
the ocean. Like I have those moments when I'm at the beach and it's like become a really big, a really important part of my self care. Um, is, is that, is having that moment for me. Um, so yeah. And then the last thing, like you need LA natives in your circle. You have to have friends who are from here, who grew up here. Um, like you have to date people who are from here. You have to only LA experience. Like it cannot be just like people who are also transplants. Like you need the LA native experience. Like you gotta have them take you to the Fox Hills Mall. You gotta have them take you to Tams. You gotta have them take you to like um, Worldwide Taco. Like all these, like you have to have the ex like friends who are from here because they really do know like the different part of LA and they will expose you to like such a different part of LA that is so integral to like what makes this city magical. So like you have to mingle with LA natives if you are going to move here. Um, so if you are thinking about moving into LA or maybe you're just thinking about visiting LA, I hope this was like really helpful for you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below, like, do you live here? Have you moved here? Are you thinking about moving here? Like, what are you nervous about? Like, I want to know. Talk to me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.